Hey Lifestyle San Diego, help me welcome the newest member to the family, Denny O, top producing real estate agent for downtown San Thanks Diego. Thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Welcome. And then you've been in real estate for quite a long time, right? Yeah, I'm uh, starting my 15th year now. 15. Yeah. 15. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older than I look, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited because this is your stomping grounds and there's a brand new place, right? Yeah. So we're in Little Italy at the new Piazza and we're right outside of Farmer's Table right okay. now. Okay. Yeah. Just opened up less than a month ago. I hear they have uh, quite the drink in there. So It's, it's a pretty big drink. It's good, <laughs> good to look at. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you brought me. So let's go check it out. All right. <laughs> I'm extremely excited. I've never had the opportunity to be here. I've been in Little Italy, but this is such a treat. Yeah, this is amazing. Um, I actually came here for the first time a few weeks ago, wanted to check out the new restaurants, and I think it's amazing, so I'm glad we're here. Right? Yeah. But we get to be here with a very special person to guide us through this experience this time. Yeah, this is Jesse Rosenthal. He's the lead server here at Farmer's Table, so thanks for being here today, Jesse. Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming, guys. And providing um, us with this incredible feast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope you get to eat some when we get done. Um, I'm lead server here, and um, I opened the La Mesa location with them a couple oh, years ago. Yep. So I've been with the company about two years, and it's super exciting. You know, I, I've worked in probably 15 different restaurants in my life, and this is by far the most beautiful restaurant I've ever worked in. I mean, right when you walk into it, it just has this unique feeling all together, let alone the food as well. Right, yeah. I mean, it's huge. Um, it, I, if you got a chance to take a look around the whole space. It's a, it's deceptively large. <laughs> I, I thought even just the patio was large and then it comes all the way out onto this side. So you guys are filling a big space. It's massive. I yeah. mean, we can, we can see about 300 people um, wow. at capacity uh, as long as the weather treats us nice. Yes. Um, people are excited about it. I mean, we've got like unbelievable things on the menu that you don't see in other places. Yes. So like the barnyard. Wait, what is this? <laughs> So we saw the little one come out, and then this right. massive thing came right. out. Right, yeah, now his stature seems slightly <laughs> yeah. uh, slightly smaller, right? So that's the butcher's block is the little guy. Okay. Um, fresh, you know, fresh proteins, short rib, andouille sausage, bacon. Uh, and then this is his uh, older... Giant brother. <laughs> wiser, yeah. Yeah, his whole brother, family. Uh, the barnyard. Um, so it's uh, a large pitcher of fresh house-made Bloody Marys uh, that we mix fresh every day. Uh, a, a whole roasted chicken, a corn on chicken. the cob, a whole chicken. <laughs> okay, but you also called it your, it's one of your, someone has named it, like Instagram pieces. So people are coming just for this. Absolutely, yeah. We, we get, uh, we ran into a little problem in the beginning because we offer it until 2.30 p.m. Okay. Uh, it takes a lot of prep. It get takes, here early. Yeah, <laughs> it, takes, it takes about 20 minutes to make. Um, and uh, we don't serve them at night. So we ran into a little problem where people were showing up, literally, I had someone tell me they drove to just California for just Vegas for because they saw this online. Are people finishing and this? They came back the next day and had it and loved it. But uh, wow. yeah, people, yeah, absolutely. 100%. That's incredible. Yeah. And I mean, there's so many. This is just one piece, but Farmer's Table is such a unique place on its own. So tell me a little bit about how it started and the concept behind it. Sure, sure. So um, uh, Alberto and Vincenzo are cousins. Uh, they're Sicilian. Um, they've been in the restaurant biz a long time, 30 plus yeah. years in San Diego. Uh, Vincenzo told me that uh, he started out by uh, like buying a school bus and pounding out veal scallopine <laughs> and uh, making enough money and with a couple investors to start Panavino, um, one of the sister restaurants down, down there on Fifth. Yep. Um, and they've just, you know, ballooned from there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's so nice as a downtown resident to have new restaurants like this and healthy restaurants and different options farm the table type, right. type concepts. Um, so it's awesome having this new restaurant here. Yeah, so if he said farm to table, what does that, I mean, we can sure visualize it, but what does it actually mean? So we are sourcing, uh, you know, 99% of our ingredients uh, locally and regionally within 100 miles of San Diego. Um, 
That's incredible. We get a few, yeah, you know, we get, sometimes we get like some bison from Wyoming or some, or, or some uh, fish from Baja, but everything else uh, comes from this area. Uh, like we get all of our microgreens from this cool little urban garden in Hillcrest. Um, yeah, and if you check out the back of the dinner menu, yeah. you can see there's a whole list of what, where we're sourcing everything from. Okay. Um, and it's really impressive to me yeah. personally because the volume that we're doing to still have it be true farm to table is really difficult. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it's really <laughs> yeah. difficult. And well, and it, yeah. Just looking at all this food, you can tell that it pays off. And you brought us some of your favorite dishes. Uh, yeah, we've got the tiramisu French toast, which... Clearly your favorite. I have to forcibly <laughs> restrain myself to not eat this every day. Uh, it's unbelievable. Let me put it in front Mascarpone of Mascarpone cream, yeah, right? It's like, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And then, Denny, you were saying... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. It knew the time was over. You were saying that you live here. There's yep. so much to do in Little Italy. Yeah, it's it's really been interesting. So I've lived in San Diego for about 20 years. Uh -huh. I've lived downtown for about the last 10 years. And seeing how much downtown's changed, specific Little Italy, yes. has been incredible. Um, you know, you have so many new places. The entire piazza that we're in was just finished, you know, not that long ago. So it's nice as, as a resident and as a realtor in the area to see all the, the changes that are happening to the area. Yeah, everyone coming in. And I mean, a place like this, it doesn't make co more competition. It drives more traffic to the yeah. area. No, I completely agree with Which that. is great. Yeah. And I know you, you have listings just in the yeah. area. So if someone wants to be able to walk to Farmer's Table, there's yeah, options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I've got a great listing over at Pinnacle, which is a luxury okay. high rise. Um, and we're on the 16th floor and you know a lot of the reasons why I think people live downtown are the views, the convenience, yes. and the lifestyle and you really hit on all those all those aspects uh, living at Pinnacle, right? Um, you've got the 10 foot high ceilings which very few buildings have. You have the protected views. Um, it comes with four parking spaces so you can bring all your friends downtown four? and not oh my rush. Gosh. Yep. You should definitely be four walking parking to Farmer's spaces. Table. Yeah, you're um, and you've got great restaurants like Farmer's Table, you have the Symphony, you have all of that that you can just kind of walk around to downtown. That's incredible. So last question for you, if someone's coming and they have one option, what would they, what should they get? Oh man, are they here for breakfast <laughs> oh my or, gosh. or dinner? Um, what should they be uh, well, here? I'm guessing he's going to say the French toast, right? Okay. <laughs> I, the Bananas Foster French toast or the tiramisu French toast okay. might be my favorite things on the brunch menu. They're like extra indulgent, but they're so good. Um, yeah, and at dinner time, this, this bone-in short rib is okay. slow braised, bone-in beef short rib, creamy polenta. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, Denny, thank you so much for introducing me to Absolutely. Farmer's Table. I think Absolutely. it's my new favorite place. Yeah, I'm glad we'll be we every day. made it out. So we I think we so. deserve a big cheers to Farmer's Table, right? Sounds good and to me. And congratulations on your opening. Thank cheers. you very much. Cheers, cheers so guys. much. And you know what? I think it's time to eat, so let's dig in. All right. <laughs> absolutely love coming down to Little Italy. Not only do they have an incredible vibe, but as many know, I love food, and Little Italy has become synonymous with celebrity chefs all over the world. Jesse's invited me out to a new hot spot in Little Italy that checks off all those boxes, and what's more, I hear they're a great catch. We're back in Little Italy, which means Little Italy, great food, but it's not pasta, and we're going for a little bit more under the sea, right? Under the sea, <laughs> specifically from sea to sandwich, we're okay. at Supernatural Foods, and we're here with chef, head chef, and GM, Sean. That is correct. Wow. Thanks for having us, Sean. Thanks pleasure. for coming. We're yeah. excited to have you. So I've never heard of Supernatural Sandwiches, but Jesse raves about it, which he found on social media. Right? Yeah, I mean, of course, <laughs> that's that's the best way. I mean, that's the way we find some of our hidden gems. Um, not only do you guys have a strong following, but some of those photos 
And as you can see, that's what led me here. We honestly train our staff in the back of the house on that quality <laughs> just to make sure that it's top notch at all times. Well, you eat with yeah. your eyes too, oh, right? Oh Absolutely. Yeah. And the smell is amazing. But what makes Supernatural sandwiches? I mean, how did you even get started? Personally, my story is a little bit uh, shorter with the group, but honestly, I've watched them from day one. It was really cool to see an idea conceptualized from a bunch of restaurant guys who grew up together, literally running the streets, having fun, and then decided one day, one thing that I don't see on average in our business, because they distributed, they did all of it, was seafood that was accessible like a burger. So they That's said, very true. seafood sandwiches, let's do this. And the farmer's market location was born. Awesome. So you literally saw it from an idea yes. to now multiple locations. In 2011, it started from, like I said, a group of guys just talking about it, and it became overnight a sensation within San Diego. Their following just continued to blow up day by day, and it was astounding to see. I love it. Love it. And so what is, I mean, I think this is one of your staple sandwiches, this is right? Definitely. This is our Zagat iconic siren sandwich. We do siren. a spicy garlic shrimp. We do a nice light garlic sauce with it. It's going to be on our supernatural side of sandwiches. So it's not overly heavy, but it definitely hits all the flavors that you're going to want out of a classic shrimp sandwich. Right. And you have two sides to that menu, right? We do. We okay. do. We try to feed it. Uh, you actually have two great representations here. This is going to be more of our supernatural side, lighter seafood flavor forward. And then we go for the sinister side, which is, I mean, it's gluttonous and ridiculous and delicious <laughs> on every level. I like the name Sinister. It, it, <laughs> where do the fries fall in? The fries fall in every single day. You want a French fry? This is the fry that you're looking for because our Triton fries have scallops, they have delicious crispy shrimp, our Patagonia red shrimp on them, and then our house-made sauces, that avocado ponzu with our cheese sauce. I can taste that. That's what I'm tasting right now. It's addictive. Wow. So everything is farm to table. You make everything fresh, the cheese sauces, the sauces themselves, right? Local, sustainable, organic, whenever possible. Uh, we're very fortunate to work with some really cool local distributors with Catalina Offshore. Tommy Gomes himself, the man, is wow. hooking us up with OPA here at this location specifically to where we're gonna do eight different cuts and change it on the regular. You're gonna see stuff that you've never seen before in San Diego. Now, <laughs> I've heard a rumor, because this is a seafood place, I've heard a rumor that there's gonna be a wing night, so tell us about that. Yeah, how's that work? We're getting really <laughs> excited to launch what we're calling Wing Wednesdays, where we're gonna feature uh, an off cut, something that most people don't utilize in every fish, and that's the collar. Okay. We've got this killer recipe where we lightly fry them, we glaze it with a house like fish sauce, chili oil mixture, fresh lime, salami, Cilantro. It's something that if you haven't tried, it's one of the best bites on the fish. No, I can't wait. And I mean, you're doing a lot of stuff like that where it's bringing attention to seafood how it's never really been. Like you said, it's always, you know, either a fine dining, never really accessible. And that's the goal with it is to make everybody fall in love with seafood the way that right? most well, San Diegans. I just fell in love with this. What is this one again? <laughs> that's the Triton fries. Oh my I gosh. But you're not just food either, you have drinks, yes, which is perfect. Absolutely. Uh, the Triton fries, honestly, with our hazy IPA that we have on top right now, is by far one of the best combinations that you're gonna get at any San Diego bar. I love that, so you're pairing it too. Absolutely. It's not just by accident. We are <laughs> focused on every level of who we're working with when. We've got great relationships with the local breweries. We go down to the breweries themselves before they do a new batch, whether it be specialty or otherwise, and we figure out the best way that we can create specials that pair with that, because we like to be the first people to bring it in. Yeah, I love that. Speaking of local relationships, uh, we can't not but notice the bread here. Yes. Right, so tell us about that. Bread and Sea out of Hillcrest, and they've I got a couple love other. Bread and I, I feel like you I say that it. in San Diego, everybody knows <laughs> that that's everybody where the knows. best bread is. But yeah. it is the best bread. Like, they are incredible. They did us, they hooked us up so much by creating this specifically for our design. We use the same lobster style brioche lobes across the board, but we cut them differently for our unique needs. So our melts are a different cut versus our pocket bread, which is more of a traditional lobster roll style. But the level of buttery goodness in each bite to it pairs with the seafood on a new level. I love it, yeah. I love it. Now, every location you have has a few unique sandwiches to that location, right? Absolutely. We're a little bit more I don't want to say the word refined in Little Italy, but we're, we're shooting for the audience. We're shooting for the people who are looking for that special occasion. So we're throwing out a couple of new fun items. We've got our Cantonese style lobster roll that doesn't exist at any of the other locations. Wow. So it's got that little fried light lobsterness to it, but we've got the, the fish sauce reduction, fresh mm. jalapenos for heat. Complex. This is gourmet. Very <laughs> complex. Yes, exactly. Right. And that's what we're trying to introduce to people is that you don't have to have the white linen tablecloths. You don't have to spend 
through the nose for your great food. Yeah. And that's what it boils Quality. down to us. Yeah. And it shows because, I mean, the passion, the way you speak about this food. I'm the lucky one, honestly. I've been in the industry for 15, 20 years myself, but pairing up with these guys was a dream for me. It, They had the bones there for what I've honestly believe could be one of the best concepts that I've ever been a part of. And to be able to, to get a little creative in San Diego with the local providers, oh, I mean, yeah. the, the seafood alone. What no better comments. place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you're gonna make some noise on Lifestyles because I think you just made a lot of fish fans. Awesome. I know where to find you now. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, thank you so much to introducing me to Supernatural. This is amazing. I, I gotta hope to dig make in. you a regular yeah, over at PB too. We'll see you every week I there, I was right? Like, PB, how do I not know? I'll be there every day. <laughs> New specials there too. We're gonna do fun stuff. Great yeah. stuff. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Thanks for appreciate it, guys. Well, Jim, we're so excited to introduce you to the Lifestyles family and, of course, the nation. Thank you. So what better place than right here? I know. 1961 Parkview Terrace, La Jolla, California. Right. It's an amazing site. So obviously, this is under construction, but you have a lot of history right here in La Jolla. Yeah, I grew up in that house right there on the corner and uh, lived there with my brother and sister, mom and dad, for 25 years. Wow. Yep. And you still currently live in La Jolla. Yeah, we live just <laughs> up the street, uh, about a quarter mile away. So this has always been my neighborhood. I love this neighborhood. So dare I ask, what made you pick this house to develop, sell? Mm, it's a good question. So growing up here, I knew that there was only four or five houses that would border the canyon right here and have this view behind us. And when we heard that this was gonna be coming up for sale, my investors and I, we formed a team we purchased the house and we're building a beautiful custom home here. Man. Yeah, couldn't pass up the opportunity. Right? Well, I can see little peaks of the view, uh -huh. but I know that there's a lot in store in there. Oh, uh, it's right? amazing. Probably the best view you're ever going to see in San Diego. So I hear. Yeah. But it takes a big team, like you mentioned, to get this done. So it does. Let's, let's go, go meet him. Gosh, yeah. you are kidding. No, I wasn't kidding. Talk about a view. This is more than a view. This yeah. is this is paradise. <laughs> I know it's it's truly amazing. I mean, you've got the mountain ranges oh there. Oh my gosh. We're adjacent to Kate Sessions Canyon and Park, which is 80 acres of open space that they'll never develop on. You can see Mission Bay downtown, Coronado Bridge. You can see the Bay of Ensenada, Mexico, Point Loma, the Coronado Islands. Oh I mean, it's this truly amazing. This is like amazing. the eye to San Diego. Yeah, this isn't right? just a view. I yep. think you're being a little too modest with this one. Yeah, it's it's pretty incredible. And I mean, yeah, you can see the planes oh. taking off and the ships. And and for those that don't know Kate Sessions, probably the best park in all of California. I think so. Yes. Yeah, I was very blessed that she donated the 80 acres to the city. Oh my gosh, so yes. It's pretty special. Right? Yeah. You want to go meet Tim, the architect? Yes, I okay. hear he's eager, ready to go. <laughs> I've known Tim for probably 15 years. Oh, and wow. Worked on a lot of projects with him. Tawny, this is Tim Hi. Bulba. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Our master well, architect. To our house. Hey, buddy, how are you? Excellent. Good to see you. Not a bad project to work on, huh? It's a perfect site <laughs> on a perfect day. What more could you ask? Yeah. What is it like to work on such a spectacular house as this one? This site is one in a million. Obviously, you've seen the view. We're at a unique location where we're in front of basically an 80 acre park that can never be built on. We've got enough room out back for a pool, a sand volleyball court that's proposed, but it really is all about taking the inside and the outside and now merging them into the house. So we're doing a lot of raised ceilings, much bigger windows, telescoping walls of glass, and just turn it into basically something that is a real 2019 lifestyle for San Diego. Yeah. We have Jim who's probably sold thousands. <laughs> We've got Ruckel Construction, who's built thousands of homes. Everybody has their own perspective. Yep. And when you assemble a team like that, something that we'll see, they may not see, something that they'll, Jim will talk about marketability, so that we can work that all together, and it's a real synergistic relationship. And it's a very we, fluid relationship. Absolutely. I mean, it's okay to keep changing things along the way, because you don't know how it's gonna look until the window's been framed. And so we're always keeping that as an option that we can change things along the way and make it better. Even. The ability with a team like that that's willing to listen to good ideas even after we've started framing, it leads to a, an end product that is so spectacular. 
Well, you know, it takes an entire team to get this thing built, and Tim's done a great job designing it, but there is still one other person we got to meet, okay. and that's Orion Ruckel, our builder. So well, you want to go him. see Orion? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Tim, thanks a lot, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate pleasure it. Pleasure meeting you. Pleasure to yeah. Meet you. Yeah, let me go introduce Perfect. you to Orion. Yeah, so Tani, wait till you see up here on the roof deck. This view just keeps getting better and better. Oh my gosh. Isn't that incredible? You're not kidding. I thought downstairs was nice, but. No, nope. up here you are king of the hill. So Tani, this is the man that is responsible for bringing Tim's plans to fruition. Right? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Pleasure. Absolutely. Yeah, we're, uh, um, we've been in business since 1953. We mostly wow. do. Uh, coastal properties, you know, all the way from Oceanside, La Jolla, Point Loma. So we're really stoked about this project in particular. You know, obviously, most for me, I get to work with a lot of different teams. And with Jim and with Golba, uh, we really have a good synergy. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's been a pleasure to build uh, with these guys. Right? I see. I feel the energy. So yeah. it's fantastic. And this is a very special project. Yeah. No, absolutely. We all got involved all together up front about a year ago and, and sat down and really strategized what are we going to do on, with this project? Are we going to, you know, come in low budget? You know, is, is it medium or high? And um, it, we just decided, you know, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. We're going to go high end. We're, we're going to go high end because yep. this this spot really demands it. You know, it's, it's it, it seems kind of funny to say, but it's like, for this kind of view, it's like we want to be the people to make this happen, yeah. you know, yes. and I to, to do justice for, you but know, is, this right? this property. Yeah, you really get the best when you let the people who are the professionals exercise their creative side. So, th I mean, we don't get that on every project, you know, you have limitations, but on this one, we really, it's, we're all like, you know, chummy pals and yeah. just <laughs> giving it our best. So. And we're stoked. I mean, Why where, you where, be? <laughs> where else are you going to get a job site like this? You know? I mean, we, we've been here just a short while and the neighbors are coming over. Everybody wants to see yeah. this house. Oh, it's yeah. not even complete. Everybody's watching and that's <laughs> yes. why we're going to try to do the best job we possibly can. And that's why we've hired the best. Yes. And this will be the best deck in Southern California to watch the fireworks. You heard it here. July. You There's heard probably it here. about 14 shows you can yes, see out here. So I vouch for that. Fourth of July is where we're going to be up here. I'll be here.